everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to show you how to get these two braids that I'm actually taking out right now. First, I went ahead and moisturized my hair with Shea Moisture's Curl Enhancing Smoothie. This is my go-to moisturizer for everything. I then applied Shea Moisture's Dry Oil Mist, which is made for your body, but I usually use it on my hair because it's lighter than regular oil. Next, I applied Ampro Pro Style Gel to slick my hair down so that it blends well with the braiding hair. I'm going to use a wooden brush to slick my hair down even more. And I'm showing you how to cross the two pieces of braiding hair. This is actually leftover braiding hair, but if you want a fuller look, I would suggest using at least half of a pack of braiding hair. Okay, so here's the hard part. I'm gonna separate a tiny piece of my hair in the front, and I'm going to use that to cover the braiding hair. Now I'm getting ready to start the French braid. I'm going to take a second piece of my own hair and cross it on top of the braiding hair, eventually starting the French braid. So here you see me crossing the hair over and I'm going to start the French braid from there. Now this is where the piece in the front comes in. You're going to add it to the French braid to actually cover the braiding hair so that the braid looks more natural. This is actually the hardest step and trust me, it took me a while to master. I actually still haven't mastered it. <laughs> that continue French braiding as normal. I know a lot of people don't do a French braid when they add braiding hairs but I actually tried a lot of other methods. I watched a lot of YouTube videos on how to add braiding hair to two braids and I could not get the techniques down. I watched these videos over and over again so I just decided to let my hands figure it out. So when I started braiding, my hands just decided to do a French braid. So that's why I did a French braid. I just couldn't get anything else down. But I'm just going to braid all the way down to the ends, making sure I pull my natural hair pretty tight so that it doesn't frizz up and come out of the braid. Now you just braid down as normal. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you so much to my 100 subscribers. I can't believe that I got 100 subscribers. It's so cool. But yep, yeah, this is the braid and it looks so natural. You can't really see where it starts. And this is what the braid will look like if you use more hair. So I suggest that. Thank you guys so much for watching. See ya.